2017, 18, year four. Uh, how many you got out this year? We got 25 kids out. Uh, we've been we've been fortunate uh, to, to be able to, to come over here and, and work out all summer, and we've been 25 strong all summer, and we haven't had we haven't had one drop off yet. So we're doing we're doing good. Okay. Talk a little bit about your schedule this year. Uh, we added a few new games this year. Uh, dropped a few. We we added. We picked up uh, Oakdale. We picked out look picked up Lookout Valley. Uh, Silverdale, um, we stayed, we kept Silver Creek, or Sell Creek, and uh, Sequatchie and Bledsoe. Uh, we got seven games this year. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, Look, looking forward to the competition and uh, and seeing what we got. Okay, kind of tell us a little bit about your offense. Our Cause... offense, uh, we're, 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 it's, we're a work in progress. We're, we're trying to, to see, uh, we're young. Gary, I'm not going to lie to you. We're young in spots. Uh, you know, we're, we're probably going to have a sixth grade quarterback, uh, and and to not have that uh, eighth grade or seventh grade leadership behind the center, that's, it's going to be a it's going to be an experience for us. Uh, we've got Tyler Dupree and Marcus Garcia in the backfield, um, two two stallions. Um, I, I really I really look for them to uh, to do some special things this year, and, and you know what, our offensive line has has come along. Um, and we're doing really well. Uh, we're, we're staying low. We're, we're blocking, doing fundamentals. You know, now, now it's it's a case of, of not busting plays whenever we get out on the field and making sure the moment's not too big for us and and, and just uh, going with what we got. What about the defense? Defense, uh, hey, we're going to fly around and hit people. Uh, my philosophy is I want all 11 men around the ball. Uh, and when you get there, you arrive with a bad frame of mind. and. And hopefully, if 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 we can get everybody cooking and everybody going full speed, you know, uh, on defense, we'll be all right. We'll, we'll be able to do some things. Where's your strength at on the defense? On the defense, I say our linebacking core is our strength. Uh, I'll look for Tyler Dupree and and Dre Cooper and uh, and Rylan Bray and Marcus Garcia. Uh, those guys to step it up. Defensive line, we're no slouch either. I mean, you know, we're 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 getting where we want to be, and uh, and hopefully, you know, it, it'll show up on Thursday nights for sure. Okay. Uh, talk about the what's your first game coming up? First game is uh, Grundy. Grundy. I love Grundy. Uh, it, it's a great to me. It's a great opening game. I mean, I know they're a little bit bigger size than us class wise, but it's always a good contest. Uh, Last year we, we were in the game till halftime and then we had a little incident at, at halftime and our starting running back went out and we were kind of scrambling to get everybody situated and get, you know, because it, it, it's it's hard when you, last year we only had 19 kids, it's hard to get, just throw somebody out there. So uh, so we, we kind of got it took to us a little bit in the second half last year, but if we would have uh, kept with it, I, I think we're going to give them a little run for their money this year for sure. So how many guys you got going two way? You know, kind of twenty five. Uh, well, you know, both ways. In, in, yeah, in middle school football, and, and especially if you've got twenty five kids, um, best eleven's going to play on the field. So you sure. got you gonna have a lot of guys going both ways. We have a lot of guys <laughs> going both ways. Yes, sir. So that means depth. Do you, uh, how's your depth looking? Depth. Uh, we're we're good, but like I said earlier, we're young in some spots. Um, and uh, you know my, my philosophy around here, Gary, is is if something goes on, next man up. I mean, can't be no excuse. You have to be ready when your number's called, uh, regardless. You know where where you're at on the depth chart. You know if we need you, come on. Okay. So talk about a couple of your sixth graders that are really going to contribute this year. Uh, sixth graders, I got uh, Dr uh, Dre Garcia. He he he's probably going to be our starting quarterback when we go up next Thursday against Grundy. Uh, we've got several little sixth graders who's looking good, Big Ethan Robinson. I'm excited to see what that kid's going to look like in two year, two more years. Um, Spencer Wilson, uh, Malik uh, uh, Cooper, he's, uh, he's got some little wiggle in his hips, some of that stuff you can't coach. Uh, yeah, we, we, the future is bright at DCS, no doubt. Okay. That position that we always kind of don't want to – Leave out. What what what's your kicking looking like this year? Kicking, hey, that's a big part of the game. Uh, last year it got us beaten one game. Uh, no, uh, we, we uh, Tyler Dupree will be our, our kicker and our punter, and the kid can absolutely boom him. 
he can boom them. Um, you know, he, he, he may mess up and cook, kick one backwards once, but <laughs> now he can, he can boom them. And uh, to me, especially in the middle school, in the middle school age, that's a, if you can flip the field, if you can get somebody pinned deep with right. a good kick or something, that's huge. And make them have to play mistake-free football for 80 yards or 70 yards, that's hard to do at this age. Okay. Talk a little bit about your coaching staff. I love them. Hey, we've, we've, got, we've got a great coaching staff going on. Uh, Coach Hill, Coach Stumbo, and Coach Bullock, they've came on. And, and Alex Galvez, he's, he's a student at Ray County High School, former player. He's come over here, and he's been helping me. Um, couldn't, don't know where we would be without Alex, but my coaches, Coach Hill, Coach Stumbo, and Coach Bullock, boys, make no mistake about it, we have had some coaching going on this year, and, and I love it. I love it. I love it. The kids, they responded well, and, and we've got a lot of very coachable kids, so it makes our jobs easy. Okay, uh, I understand you got a booster club now. We got a booster club, yes, sir. Uh, they're gonna. We're still, we're still young. We're, we're still young, and 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 we're still working out kinks and, and making sure everything's going the right way. And but, but man, we got us some weights, and and I think that's going to do us more good than anything. Um, you know, to, to give these kids that experience in the weight room, and, and and I'll share them a little bit of my knowledge, and and yeah. and you know, it it, it could do nothing but help. Yeah, you got a little ahead of me on the the. You got the new weight room. You got some uh, refurbished facilities in there. We did. So that's going to be good this year, right? We're trying. Uh, we, you know, Gary, I, I, this is my fourth year, and every year we've gotten a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Now it might not be going as fast as I want it to, or as fast as I expect it to, but hey, I, I, I'll take I'll take what we got going on. Sure. Our first three games are on the road, yeah, and then okay. I think our first home game is. September 18th. I'd have to look at my schedule. Right. I don't so, go. Uh, I don't go more than one game. I'm looking at Grundy. So, so we're gonna be on the road for a while. We're gonna be on the road for a while. We're gonna be road warriors. And, and you know what? I like being on the road. Uh, after school on Thursday, we'll go eat, and then we'll go, and I'll let the kids do their their studies, and and then we'll we'll have a little quick review or something. But they're with me, and I can watch what they're doing, and they're not at home jumping yeah. on the trampoline or something you know so i, I really like yeah. road games okay as you said year four what have you uh learned uh, what 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 what's been the process of the maturation oh oh over gosh. these four years yeah. um <laughs> i have learned that if you're not always evolving you're going to get left behind for sure uh I'll, I'll, i'm always striving to do better i'm always reading i'm always i'm always checking out people's uh YouTube videos on new drills and and what the latest craze is and how I could maybe implement that into our program and just to keep the kids up to date you know and because my, my goal as a coach is is to get them ready to go up to Ray County High School um, I want to help the high school win a state championship one of these days you know I, I, I want to I want to uh, I, I want to make sure our boys are the best prepared that they can be to go on to the next level because as educators that's that's our job yeah, and I know you you keep track of those guys that are going up to the high Absolutely, school and yes, following uh, all the yeah. way through, all through my their high old school heads, career. Yes. I, my old heads, matter of fact, yesterday I think uh, we had eight of them show up uh, over here because they had a short practice up the road up the high school. So some of them come over and, uh, and I think it was Wednesday, came over and, and said hi and watched some of our, we had a little Oklahoma going on and they got to razz them up a little bit and uh, it's great. I love having the old heads come back and say hi to old coach and and because they, they know I love them. They know I'm always looking out for them. They know that I'm always listening for their names. So, hey, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan for sure.